Mute recap here. Today I will explain a horror movie named, The Victim. Please encourage us and subscribe to our channel. At the beginning of the film we see Ting one day Lieutenant Tai of the Royal Thai Police sees him, the next day, she meets T, the head of the criminal rehabilitation unit who is always there, looking for new talent, later, she asks him if they play the role of the dead, won't they insult their spirits? To which he says no because they are doing it for a good cause, he then takes her to the crime scene where the rape took place, Ting looks at the victim's file and becomes very upset, and when T calls him to work, she comes there wearing the same getup as the victim, the reenactment begins and it works so well that people think that's it, true and they killed this criminal, now after that, she prays and asks for forgiveness if she has done something wrong, but when she burns incense there, the headless body of the same victim is revealed, stands in front of her whom she cannot see and leaves, photos have been published in Thai newspapers to publicize the police, they have done their job by closing the case, T then meets and compliments his work and says that his colleagues are from other stations and want him to work for them too. Ting loves his work and is so confident that even criminals repent. Tear now even after this work, when she is praying, the ghost of this victim appears, that, but he doesn't see it. Then came the breaking news of the mysterious disappearance of former Miss Thailand the competition airs on Pisces TV. The police have found some pieces of tissue that belong to him but are reluctant to do so, determining whether he is dead or alive. Now, on the one hand, this news has become a topic of discussion in the country and abroad, and Ting sees a chance to become a superstar. We then see two police officers investigating the case, where they hear a girl's voice, asking for help from across the room. They enter the room and find it full of water and blood and then they are shocked seeing a body wrapped in plastic in the bathtub, suddenly the figure waved his hand and the officers panicked and then he disappeared. From there, a forensic team is then called where they find some evidence and the police draw a conclusion, that Maine was killed by her husband Zarin and she hid the matter by mutilating her, cut the body into pieces. Here Ting begins to study the meaning so that she can reenact properly, but T makes the call and tells him that they have a female officer playing Mance. Later, the officer chosen to play Maine is haunted by a ghost, and then T is informed that the officer has died of a heart attack. T then calls Ting and informs him that they have finally decided to cast him as Mish. Ting is overjoyed to find this out and starts trying to be like her after watching her videos. Now during this time she goes into a trance and we see that it is the spirit of man who is helping her. In it, then after some time when her eyes opened, she was surprised to see first Mance and then him, disappears, and Ting thanks him for his support. Later, she goes to Pisces' apartment to practice in the same place where she was murdered. His spirit asks to be with him to make his performance realistic. She then sits down to practice in the bathtub and during this, we see the cut marks on her face. Now as he was going back he saw a girl in the hallway who was badly injured and was asking help him. Ting timidly begins to walk towards him while many other spirits stare at him, of that now as Ting reaches the girl, he screams loudly and grabs her, scaring her. Ting and she sees that all those spirits are following her and asking her for help. Then she also sees the spirit of Ares there who comes to her and tells her that it is not so, him and then she wakes up screaming in the bathtub. Later, she gets a call from T, and she tells him that she thinks of Jaren as a scapegoat, but T says he has very solid evidence. Now he is about to tell her something but then the call is disconnected and his car is disconnected. The radio starts to malfunction, then suddenly he sees Maine's spirit clinging to his car which grabs his hand and kills him. The car hits a pillar, now the next day Zarin is brought to the crime scene and then Ting makes sense, get up. Jaren begins to tell the police what happened that day and Ting starts to do the same again. But he sees the spirit of Ares there, saying over and over that it's not him. Men then take over Ting's body and Jaren begins to see Mesh in it, who asks him to tell the truth. Now everyone there gets quite surprised to see this and then reaches T. Attempts were made to revive her there. But she fainted. 
Now at the hospital, she tells T that she doesn't remember exactly what happened, he informs her that the case is closed, and even if they have to repeat the scene, they will she will no longer be allowed to play the role of Pisces. Later, Ting visits a chain, where she goes into a trance and sketches an unknown person, woman she asks the magician if she can contact him, to which she says yes, and tells him to be careful like she had. She then goes to Maine's house to find out about the woman, but when she finds nothing she starts to go back from there but suddenly the door of the room is closed, a drawer then automatically opens in which he finds a file and there it is, an article in it. She shows the article to the police officer who tells her that the picture is of Faye, a plastic surgeon, and close friend of Mrs. She then visits Faye, who asks her why she is here. Ting says she wants to know if she and Mance are in a relationship. Faye tells him that she knew. Mish before he was in showbiz, she was very talented, but not a single person was honest with her and she was only his friend however. She chose to marry Jaren. Now when Ting asks her permission to leave, Faye asks her for a favor. She makes him look like Ares, asks him to wear the tiara, and then asks to call her darling. Ting finds it all quite strange and uncomfortable, and here we find out that Faye also did all this to Ares because she was obsessed with him, of that. Ares gets very angry at her behavior and starts to leave, but Faye knocks him unconscious, after which he stabs him to death. Now knowing all this, Ting gets very scared and Faye tries to kill him too, but before he can do him any harm, T gets there and shoots him, and when he approaches Ting, he is horrified to see her horrified face. It is then revealed that the events were actually a film entirely about the murders of Man and Ting. It's just a character played by another actress named Mei. And then she's gone. Now the news spread across the city that Maine's ghost is on the set of the film, but the staff has dismissed it as just a rumor. Later, May tells her hairdresser Jeb that she had nightmares last night, saw a lot of blood and felt like someone was staring at him. Jeb asked him if he felt anything strange when he passed out. On another day during the dance scene, May doesn't remember anything. Faye then calls Job and tells him not to talk about it. Now the shooting resumes, but all the crew and director Shane notice that it is May lying quietly, as Shane says cut. May glares at him, which frightens her. Later, one of the crew members becomes possessed by the cock spirit, and we see him chasing after her. The next day, Shane informs May that he is postponing the shoot just because passed away last night. She then meets another actress, OM, who tells her that something has happened to her. Set during the scene in which Mance teaches Ting to love, she tells him not to touch her. He angrily shouts at her after which she faints and then falls down screaming, and when Shane removed the crown from her head, she fainted. Shane then tells Kak to tell everyone that he has epilepsy. Meanwhile, the editor shows Shane some footage showing a shadowy figure following May. Another footage shows the image clearly. Then the editor goes off to do some work, and after a while, Shane hears some scary noises, and sees some shadows on the wall. After some time, when the editor returns, he is horrified to see Shane's dead body. There, just then, Mai gets a call from Shane who tells her to be careful and then the call is disconnected. She then receives a call from the editor informing her of Shane's death and is shocked. To hear it she is then possessed by Mance's spirit, from which she flees in terror. Her apartment and Pisces spirit pulls her down from the balcony, causing her to fall and died in a car. However, she wakes up and it turns out to be a nightmare. Later, he receives a call and learns that Shane died yesterday, and then finds himself in a room, scary scene on TV, then strange music starts playing in her house which she asks in frustration, what else does he want from her? Later. She goes to Maine's temple where he begs her to forgive him and forget what happened. She has this in mind, so she can go in peace. She then hears the same music again in the parking lot. When she returns, she scares him, and as she enters the elevator, someone walks past her, and suddenly a ghost haunts him, then she finds herself performing on a street dressed as like, and then a girl comes along, and asks her to return the dress as she has rented it from him, 
She then jokes and asks him if they are hiding something from her. Now Joke is about to tell her the whole truth but suddenly the call is disconnected, and that passion also kills the joke. She then goes to Jock's office, where she learns that he sent her a mail before he died. Now it has come to light that she was not there on the day he performed the turpan. She is in a barn, where a crown attracts her, and as she touches it, a spirit. He has, then when Jock comes to call him, he is horrified to find that he has been possessed by a ghost. He calls Kak and Shane there and together they remove the crown from his head. Due to this she fainted, he is sarcastically advised to leave the crown in the temple or burn it, but Shane like asking him to add more lines about dancing, May then goes to the warehouse to find Taj, and while she is trying to get him out, she sees someone's reflection in the showcase mirror and the spirit begins to move to her. But May breaks the showcase and takes out the crown, making her a ghost. Missing now she was leaving with the crown when she noticed that the crown had disappeared. And then that spirit crowns him. She then finds herself in a strange unknown place, where she ends up in a room. The walls are filled with pictures of May. Actually, this room belongs to a poor girl named Bate, who was a traditional Leche dancer, and she used to earn her living by performing on the streets. She was a huge fan of May and had plastic surgery to look like her, but she was not happy with the results. She goes to a quack doctor and dies during treatment. His body was thrown into the river. May then informed the police and the police found her body in the same river. Now a few days later, May thinks everything is fine, but then he hears that music again and she gets scared seeing Bates ghost there. She comes out of the mirror and says she wants to be like him. Then we see that May is possessed by Bite and will now be living in his body. Enjoy the life of a celebrity. This movie ends here. We hope you like our movie explanation. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It encourages us. Thanks.